Hi, I'm Bill McLaughlin, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture Today. Welcome to this week's edition of FTTV Fridays. I'm here with the staff. We're going to talk about some of the news uh, that you're reading about in this week's paper. Uh, we've got some retailers opening in new markets. We have new technology. Uh, and we also have a new online mattress retailer that you'll be reading about. So uh, we'll just kind of go around the table here, and, and you'll kind of get a feel for what you'll find in upcoming Monday's paper. First, we're going to go to Clint Engel, who, as you can see, is recovering from some recent injuries. Um, no, we didn't do that to him. Uh, Clint, what's going on this week in the week of re in uh, the world of retail? Thanks, Bill. Last month, we did a report on the top 100 and how they're they've been racking up the market share. This week, we're coming out with a list of beyond the top 100. It's another. It's the second tier uh, group of stores, 100 of them, and they're fighting for market share of their own, uh, and they're putting up a good fight. They have all kinds of strategies. We go into some of them with some features on uh, new stores. They're investing in digital, uh, both on their uh, websites and advertising. They're fighting uh, the competition with new categories. One introduced outdoor and had, had tremendous success with it. That was interiors. They're, uh, they've seen huge increases in their uh, average ticket. And, and they're also adding new toys. There's a retailer in Missouri who, who's known for his visual aids, and he's adding classic cars and vintage bumper cars from pre-World War I. So a lot of interesting things they're doing to try to stay relevant and fun for today's consumer. What's up with you, Thomas? This week, I'm looking at technology specifically an item from top 100 retailer American Signature and Value City Furniture who is partnering with a company called Cloud Tax. Consumers who visit the stores have an opportunity to pick up a tablet that when it gets close to the tags on a piece of furniture can give more information in store or the consumers have the opportunity to have it sent to their home email address. Officials at Value City and American Signature see it as a great opportunity to collect consumer information that they might not get otherwise with the added benefit of not hassling consumers to install or download an app that they might not use more than a couple of times. That's very interesting. So Sandy, what's new with you? Thanks Thomas. Um, well, this week in addition to actually starting to work on Las Vegas market already, uh, we wrapped up the next edition of Design Today and sneak peek this is the cover for next time. Um, and what we're really focusing on uh, in this issue are high point manufacturers who are working with designers and developing new programs for them. We're looking at all of the markets around the world where the staff has been. And we're revisiting some of the best um, things that we saw in high point as well. Sounds like a great issue. It's going to be good. We also have a special guest this week on FTTV Friday. Jennifer Bringle, Editor-in-Chief of Kids Today, is here to give you a little bit of a preview of what you'll find in the new issue. Jennifer, what are people going to find in the new issue of Kids Today? So this new issue focuses on millennial parents, and we talk a little bit about, you know, who they are um, and how they're waiting to have children. And, you know, that kind of sounds like bad news for the furniture industry right now, but what it actually is is an opportunity for them moving forward because as these, um, you know, this generation's a little bit older when they're buying their furniture, they're a little farther along in their careers, they have a little bit more money to spend, so they're going to have, you know, more of a value emphasis on what they're buying. Um, and then we kind of get into, you know, how do you reach these people. Um, you know, obviously the digital side is a no-brainer, all the social media, even so much as working with mommy bloggers and reaching out to that end of it um, is really a good way to get in touch with them and, you know, talk to them about your brand and um, introduce them to why they should be buying furniture from you. I'm Bill McLaughlin with Furniture Today, wishing you good business. <laughs>